What's up guys, it's Breer Productions here. Today, I'm back doing another Cars 3 diecast uh, review. So today, we're doing, I'm doing a review, unboxing and review of Liability with, frame, with Flaming Barrels. So yeah, behind here I have some other cars. And if you guys haven't checked out my other video, I did a review on Bill. So his review should be coming is already out, so check him out. And my other review on Fishtail, T Bone, and APB. And then tomorrow I'm or next video I'm gonna do Bill and then Superfly and then whatever comes in mind. So oh yeah guys, and I forgot to show this in my last video, but I'm not sure if it's like really like um like cool to show. But here's this. Now, at first glance, it looks kind of weird. Like, what the heck is this supposed to be? If you guys know uh, Family Tour Review, they did a video on how to make mini monster truck Cars 3 cars. And I decided to do my own by using Lego. The reason this is blue is because I ran out of yellow. And I still need to put the yellow up top. But it's basically supposed to be Miss Fritter with a uh, monster truck. And if you guys don't know... This is one of those mini monster trucks from the mini series series. So yeah. I just wanted to show that because I guess it's kind of cool. Anyways, back to the normal review liability. So let's get this guy open. Okay guys, so now let's get a closer look at liability. Okay guys, so here's liability out of the package. Now out of the package, he's really cool than I ex what I expected. Uh, he, hold on. Sorry about that, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, I really like this guy, I think he's really cool. Now first let's talk about his accessories. accessories. He comes with two flaming barrels. That are on fly fire. Now this uh, barrel's fire is made out of like a soft rubber, so it flexes. So, and you could pro you could also stack them like this. But if you guys have the Crazy Eight Crasher playset, which it uses, um, which uses these guys with the revers. If you guys have that playset, then you know that the barrels are these. Now, these, these barrels, compared to these barrels, these barrels are way smaller. Like, way smaller. And, like, for example, like, compare this barrel to Lion McQueen. It's really tall. But compared to this one to Lion McQueen, they're really small. So, it's a really big size difference in barrels. Now enough of the barrels. It comes with um, one blue and one orange one. Or brown one. And yeah, so here's Liability in all of his glory. He's really cool. Um, yeah, so uh, he is number 77. And... He has synthetic rubber tires like all the cars do. So actually, let me ring out this guy just to put in the background. Because he's a part of this line too. He rolls really good. Like, just like same thing with that. He has green... Whoops. He has green uh, wheels with brown tires. With purple tires. Sorry about that. Um, what else? He has... Um, He's he's green in the front, and he all of his windows are green. Uh, he has a lot of rockets on him, which li I'm not sure what liability means, but yeah. Uh, he has a matte finish, like all the other Demotion Derby cars have matte finishes. Um, so, 
yeah, uh, he has kind of, he has some pink stri purple striping. Um, yes, purple striping in the back of him. There's his mouth. Wait, hold on, guys. Sorry about that, guys, but his mouth, he, I like, um, I'm kind of weirded out on his expression. It kind of looks like he got, like, I don't know how to explain his expression. It, it, sh it just looks weird in, to me. But the rest of him is really cool. Uh, the side of him, he has some tally marks right there. And right there. Let's, okay. Let's read what that says. It says seek and destroy, but it says seek plus destroy. You can't really see on camera because it's kind of hard to read, especially in person. Well, not in person because it's easy to read in person. Uh, let's go to the back. The back of him says seek and destroy, seek plus to destroy again. Same thing on that side. So, uh, he has brown eyes. He has the he has black smokestacks instead and again they're soft rubber like always so yeah um now let's talk about his body style uh it's really weird cuz i noticed okay let me talk about this for a minute so with these all, with all of these demolition derby cars uh they use like different bases and since they're using those different bases for the cars it gives them like like for example fishtail uh his chassis is bent up because the back of him is bent up same thing for t-bone his chassis is curved because he's curved and same thing for uh this guy they made his chassis like curve up in the front and then curve down in the back watch let me show you guys so in the front his face is tilting this way upwards this way but in the back it's going downwards so it kind of looks like somebody went like that like that so yeah and again, I don't really like to look under these cars because of these, like, big old, like, parts in that, and right here. I'm not sure why that is. You can see it really good on this guy. You can just see that axis blue. But I guess it's just there for design, I guess. There's his chassis, if anybody was interested. Oh, yeah, and I also like how they made it to where... They like make the chassis bent, but there's but the wheels, like the uh, like the wheel axle part. Or no, I like the way that they like make these these chassis for the demolition derby cars like different shapes, like fish, like yeah, like T Bone. His chassis is made. And this uh, angle that goes this way. But yet, and then like his, his whole car body is bent. But they make it to where the wheels are pointed the same so that they can still roll forward. Which is a really cool, uh, cool concept to me. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to check out uh, Airborne, APB, Fishtail, and T-Bone. Oh yeah, and also check out Miss Fritter's, uh, Miss Fritter's video right here. And uh, yeah, so next video will be Bill, and then um, uh, Superfly, and then. Uh, I might go back to the store and get Jumbo Aya Chimichanga because, uh, I don't know, just maybe have in my collection. I don't know. 
maybe uh oh yeah and i forgot to say that all of these cars have like white in them like this part that's not a glare that's white and this part like if you really look at it, it kind of looks like a glare like a really sharp glare but no they're they all have matte fi matte finishes so they should not be uh uh shiny those are actually white spots so yeah now that's it for this video i hope you guys liked it if you did smash that like button and if you want more um cars 3 videos then or no if you're like excited for more cars 3 videos then especially demolition derby videos then hit the subscribe button because there's definitely more cars to come on this youtube channel so yeah guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in another video with another cars 3 review bye